Hey everyone, I just wanted to uh, touch base with you right quick. Uh, some of you know that I've been off trail. Uh, some of you um, I've been able to sit down and talk to and share the vision that God's poured in my heart. And um, you know, something that's been whirling around in my heart, just because you don't have something, it doesn't mean that God can't do it. And he was pouring uh, into my heart on trail that um, he was going to provide a car and he was going to put food in it and stuff in it for me to go take care of hikers. And, because I found on trail, you know, I love hiking. I love being out there. It's awesome. It's wonderful. The best conversations I have is when I sit down with people. And uh, so he just kept pouring into my heart when I was walking through Vermont and some in Maine as well. But when I was in Vermont, that he was going to put me in a car and we didn't have anything. And to be honest with you, all the flooding and stuff in Vermont, it, it pretty much just zapped um, our funds, um, which we're meager to start with, but we stepped out in faith. And um, if you've been following along, you, you know that we stepped out in faith. So these promises that were made uh, were kind of like unbelievable because, you know, we didn't have any money to buy anything. And, and that's just not how God works. Uh, John 13, 7 says... Just because you don't understand right now what I'm doing, it doesn't mean that you're not going to understand. Later, Jesus says later, you'll understand. It doesn't always have to make sense to us. His thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are so much higher than our ways. So I just want to share this with you. That's our support vehicle. It's a Honda Element. All-wheel drive, five-speed, with an awning and a rack on the top of it. And he paid for every penny of it. And the work that I've done to it, he paid for that too. It had some oil leaks and needed some air conditioning. I had buddies chip in for parts and to help do that kind of stuff and to help get the awning and help get the rack and fill it up with camp supplies to cook food and chairs for people to sit in. I just want to share that with you. I'm headed back out uh, Thursday of this week. Um, what is that, August the 3rd? I'll be headed out that morning and we'll head slowly but surely back all the way back up to Maine. And then um, some of you have explained to you what trail magic is. Basically, I'll go to road crossings where the trail crosses a road. I will actually go to backwoods ones where nobody usually is. And I'll put out a table and put out the awning, uh, make some coffee in the morning, have some fresh fruit, um, sodas, Gatorades, uh, all kinds of stuff to provide for the hikers. With the hopes that they'll sit down and talk. And, you know, we can just have an honest talk. Sometimes that leads to a deeper talk, and sometimes that's just, hey, have some food, sit down and chill for a second. And, um, you know, the kindness and, and goodness and gentleness of God is expressed in that way. Anyway, I just want to share that with you. God has provided that. We do still need help um, buying food. A lot of you have stepped up. Um, a ton of people have stepped up to help out with the purchase of food. Um, but we still probably will need more help. So if you are so inclined and, and you'd like to see that i'm gonna video that happening you know i'll take some video and you'll get to meet some people they'll say their name or whatever and you know we'll just talk a little bit and i'll post those videos um on youtube and facebook but i just wanted to share that with you that just because you don't have something don't mean god can't do it he is definitely more than able that's been my heart song right now that song more than able because god is more than able doesn't matter if you think you got a hairline fracture in your leg and you sit in an air cast for a week. You know, we did that. And then we went back on trail hiking and helped people off trail and through all that flooding in Vermont um, where a hiker actually lost his life in there. And it's, it's horrible. It's sobering to me. Um, I was in that area a day after he disappeared and, and I was right in the area where, um, where they actually found him. If you think about it, pray for his family. That's, um, you know, he was doing exactly what he wanted to do, but it's just horrible. Um, but anyway, um, I just want to share some of that with you all today, what God is doing, where we're at. Um, I'll be posting some videos uh, later on of some just miraculous things that he's been doing and speaking uh, through me to other people. Holy Spirit's definitely been moving in a huge way. Um, so I just want to share that with you. Um, not to get too deep or anything, but if you would like to help. Um, and listen, the thing is that the feeding of the hikers is its only a minor portion of it. It's really to sit down and talk. You know, you get some food in their hand, a little coffee in the cup, 
sit down and enjoy it, a place to sit. Um, that gives us the opportunity just to talk. And it didn't have to be about, you know, it's whatever, it's whatever he wants to talk about. Whatever he wants to talk about. Um, and sometimes that's just how you do it. You know, you're not alone in this. So, uh, just as an FYI, I paused my hike. Because um, it's never been about all the miles. It's never been about all with the certificate at the end of the hike. It's been about um, helping people and talking to people. And just being gentle and good and kind. And showing the fruit of the Spirit. What it really is, not... Not what you know we think it should be, and I just want to share the greatest lesson uh, that I've learned. This this video has gotten a little long, but I want to share the greatest lesson that I've learned while I've been on trails so far. God doesn't come with a hammer; He's a potter. If you come with a hammer to clay, and it's already set, well, you busted it. And if it's not set yet, you marred it up. A hammer mars things; it puts beats them into submission. So I just want to share that with you. God is a potter. He comes with gentleness, just as a potter comes to the clay. He doesn't come with a hammer, because if he did, we'd either shatter or we'd be marred and useless. So if you want to help out, just um, you know, shoot a message to me or to Esther, and uh, you know we can work those things out. But uh, either way, partner with us in prayer, and I just want to share you know with you what God has done. And he's paying the whole way, so I'm just excited to see what, what else he has in store as we go back. Y'all have a great day.